odor of the smells. In any town located near any lake, find a wooden hut built on the shore of its waters. Standing in front of the door, kneel down and pick up a rotten fish which will be lying on the doorstep and hide it in your pocket. Knock the door three times, no less, no more. The door will open and you will be greeted by an old lady. Ask her to lead you to the holder of the smells. Her face will become pale and she will insist that you should just leave. But ask her more and she will let you in. Inside there is a dark room with two wooden doors, one on the left and one on the right. Take the left one. Don't even think about the right ones. The door will close behind you by itself. The corridor will be pitch black and will smell of rot and feces and you will hear splashes under your feet. But continue forward with no doubt. Step lightly as at the end of the corridor there is a well in the ground. Kneel and slide into it as it is a pipe leading to a cellar. It will be lit by a single candle in the lamp above the reinforced door at the end of it. The whole corridor will be filled with mud and feces. It will smell awful, but don't cover your nose, as you will start to breathe in with your mouth, which will paralyze you, and you will drown in the foul matter. There will be four small barrels in the cellar, one for each corner. Go to the left one closer to where you came from, not any other, I repeat. Don't approach any of the three others. Don't even dare to. Put your hand and reach to the bottom of the barrel. No matter how foul and sticky will the substance in the barrel seem, no matter what objects will you feel there, on the bottom you will find a key. Use it to open the door and walk into the next room. At the end of an old, cracked, Wooden table will be sitting the holder of the smells, appearing as a fat, old fisherman. Instantly, you will be attacked by what seems to be a dog covered with scales. Throw him the fish you collected from the doorstep, or he will tear your body asunder and eat you. The holder will laugh and proclaim a teasing comment, but don't respond, or he will knock you out in the wink of an eye and start to devour you cap a pie. The ubiquitous smell of rot and feces will make you want to throw up, but don't, cause he will take it as an offense and do the mentioned thing. Sit down in front of him and ask him, can the seekers sense them? Using exactly those words, he'll indulge in a gruesome story of failed efforts, commenting each severity in a cynic manner telling you about things that should have never happened. If you will sustain his tale, not going mad or vomiting throughout the story, he'll say, Okay, time to go, and knock you unconscious with his bear-like hands. You'll wake up in front of the house, covered with mud and feces. You'll finally throw up. Search your vomits. There you will find a shiny fish scale. The scale is object number 591 of 2538. You will now feel them 